be a part of this show was everything. Not only to, to be boxing, but to be a part of something that is legendary. The fact that we were able to put on a card like this, not the first time, but a second time, and really build for this fight, it made for an amazing fight, and we had the best of the best fighting the best, and so I'm very blessed to be part of that movement. Because in terms of your own fight, you've been in close experience of not having a rematch, are you sure you don't want to come and have a try again? She doesn't deserve a rematch. For me, I'm going for undisputed. I want Choi next. This is what I planned on, this is what I talked about, and this is what we're gonna do. When you look through what's been said, Honestly, the world still hasn't seen the best of me. I'm still progressing every day. I'm still not satisfied as an athlete. I always want to keep striving to be the best I can be, and I will continue to go back to the gym and train my ass off. And what does it mean to you to be taken on? It means everything. I spoke about it. I was confident in, in the way I s spoke about why I wanted these belts and how I was going to take these belts and making my making, you know, solidifying my spot in women's boxing, in boxing. Thank you. There is, you know, if you've seen after the fight, I went to give her a hug, I told her thank you. Again, I'm always gonna show great sportsmanship. You know, this is a fight game, but at the end of the day, I still respect you. I just, I wasn't showing that till after the fight. But I'm, again, I'm thankful that we were able to build this fight up. We got a lot of eyes on this fight, a lot on the sport. And honestly, this was the best vi rivalry. I don't know if we'll have another one like that, but it was great. Listen, those rounds went so fast, and I like the three minutes. I think it allows just more time. Um, you know, you, you get to warm up that first minute, you know, and then you, you start being offensively the last minute, and we, wanna, we, we want more output, and that extra minute will give us that. Thank you. means everything honestly to be fighting in the UK the the fans love the sport they respect women the women fighters they respect boxing and to take this back is legend, legendary you know I again fought in her backyard I was the underdog I did have people you know doubting me and saying that Michaela was you know she was the favorite that I wasn't gonna win but I proved everybody wrong and I became the unified champion of the world tonight Honestly, Michaela fought the way, fought my game plan, really. You know, she thought she was going to box me, but I'm the better boxer. I showed that my, my jab is sharp. I showed my movement. I showed my feints, and she couldn't get past that. She, you know, she, she didn't know what, what else to do with that. And then when you get hit, you know, you got to adjust every time. And she was in the pool. Was there any doubt in her mind that this was definitely for you? No doubts. I felt it in my spirit that this was for me. That I, that I claimed this moment that I would become unified champion of the world. And even though I heard that first scorecard, I knew that, that, thir that it, the third one was for me. Thank so you. I'm thankful, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Man, listen, just standing out there, seeing the biggest crowd that I ever fought in, um, just looking up and saying, wow, like, women did this. We did this for the sport of boxing, and we made history tonight. It was, it was a great card. 
and the fans came out. We, we had so many eyes. I can't wait to hear how many numbers we did in this fight, honestly. No, I think the first time it felt big, and then the second time it felt even bigger. Um, obviously, thank you to the media as well, because without the media getting behind something like this and really, really pushing it, I felt like it was everyone was doing it within boxing um, and outside of boxing. So, yeah, to see it all come together like that, the atmosphere. You have, the arena was 75% full at 8 o'clock, mm -hmm. and that is a special thing for boxing. That usually doesn't happen. So the full card, it was an amazing experience for Lauren Price and Caroline Dubois and Carrie Sarting's daughter to box in front of that many people and then to have fights like that at the end where it really is the biggest advert you could possibly ask for for women's sport in front of an audience like this, an audience in the UK. I'm told it was, it was huge in the US as well um, in terms of the, the attention it was getting. That was a, a big moment tonight and it felt like a big moment and... Uh, yeah, massive, massive thing for the whole sport. I think just to yourself as well, you've been around this game for a long, long time. Did you expect Smith, did you expect the female boxing to get to this day this quickly? I think it's amazing um, what happened tonight. Um, I think it's been building for a long time. Um, you know, I, I've been around since you know, the days of Jane Couch, who was an early pioneer. But I think 2012 changed things. John and I were at the Katie Taylor, Tasha Jones fight, which was just electric in the amateurs. And I think that changed something with us. And obviously Katie and Clarissa and Nicola all winning golds. And then Katie turning professional with us, uh, with Eddie and Matram, was, was, was a real change. And uh, we took a chance with it. And Chantel Cameron and Terry Harper and everyone followed. And I think that we've just all come to a point where it's, it's time to recognize these amazing women for what they do. I think they're just fantastic. And it was brilliant having such a strong card from top to bottom. I think the youngsters will have learned so much on it. As Ben said, the trio of Olympians were just to, to, to fight in front of a huge crowd like that and to give the performances they did with almost no nerves and they were just wonderful. And then to have the two main fights um, as exciting as they were, as close as they were, I just think it's, it's great. You talk to the fans who are going home and they just, everyone had a wonderful night. And I'm hoping that this will just have transferred, you know, from the viewing numbers, that we get a, a, a bigger and better audience in boxing. Um, and it was a great night. And so, yeah, congratulations to Alicia, but also to Michaela, to Clarissa, and to Savannah. I think they all covered themselves in glory tonight. Was this just a warm-up, or do you have a few more? No, this is the start of something. I mean, I, it's not the start, it's the growth, isn't it? I mean, we uh, first all-female card in, in the UK, brilliant but it doesn't mean we have to do more of them all female we can we can mix and match what we do know is that the females can top cards i've said it all along at sky for many years that i wanted katie taylor to be in the first pay-per-view fight it didn't quite happen but i tell you what i'm really glad this wasn't a box office night so everyone could see how good these women are it's absolutely fantastic we've had an amazing build up twice you know, Alicia and michaela and all the sparks there and then they delivered in the ring and same with clarissa and savannah you know, Clarissa was incredible, and Savannah's effort, I mean, I'm so proud of her as well. It just, there's, there was no losers tonight, in my opinion. Ben, how important is it that promoters get together for events like this? We've got Frank Smith there for match room. Hey. Match room has been a big part of sort of promoting female fighting as well as Sky Sports in the past. So how important is it that promoters get together for events like this? Yeah, um, I think in women's sport, in the women's boxing, it's, it's even more important because there's there's only the obvious fights right now and the biggest fights that have to be made and, and I think everyone's acted with common sense and we've seen what's been delivered and obviously Frank um, representing Alicia and Michaela being represented by top rank and then the main event is incredible and we had the biggest fights we could possibly make in the sport all on one card. Um, it was a special night and I hope hopefully it brings a lot of lessons into men's boxing. Even the way that they carry themselves, even the ring walks, even everything they did in the build-up, I think they were ultimate professionals, even when it got postponed. There's no way we would have had such a smooth ride 
um, in the men's sport and I think that's testament because they knew they were fighting for themselves but also fighting for the sport and, and, and an incredible night. I think we should add in five weeks to have everybody back here is testament to how much firstly the fighters wanted to be on this show and secondly the different promoters. We said whether it's Franco Matram, whether it was, it's, it's us at Boxer, whether it's top rank, uh, Mick Hennessy, Dimitri Salita, everybody wanted this back on. And we've, you know, we've delivered, or they've delivered. The women we know are so good have delivered. And now they're going to have their name in the lights. And I've seen these young kids around ringside tonight, and they're looking up just like Caroline Dubois was in 2012 when she was an 11-year-old kid. And you could see the reaction when she got the stoppage tonight. I mean, with that crowd, isn't that inspirational? I think that's just going to grow and grow. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I'm a fighter at heart, and I know that she wants to move up to 135, and I eventually want to move up to 135, so I guess we'll be chasing each other. Um, but yeah, I would like to fight her again. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I was still happy. Um, I was just happy to be in that moment. I'm happy for the opportunity that I was able to perform at a, on a big stage, you know, in front of thousands of people. And just having this victory and for my family back at home, it, it was everything. So I just enjoyed every moment of it. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Fleming, what's your message for the young girls that were watching tonight and want to follow in your footsteps and the rest of the women? Yeah, my, my message to the young girls is continue to train hard, continue to believe in yourself, continue to keep moving forward in life when you do have a no or when you do have doubters and you do have the haters and you have people, you know, telling you you're not going to win or you're... You're not that good. Believe in yourself, because that's all that matters. It's one thing that um, Tony told me, is just to believe in you. And that's really important that you really self-reflect, because you can do anything you put your mind to. And I did that. I'm an example of that, that I was able to not, not only beat Terry Harper in her backyard, but beat, you know, quote unquote, the best girl at 130, Michaela Mayer, in her backyard as well as the underdog. And so that's a true story of, you know, the underdog always prevails. Thank you.